right, the design challenge for this space is the fact that we have a 100 foot wide pedestrian crossing here in the middle of 37th and Madison. You see the sidewalk ends here. It picks up 100 feet further on the other side of the road. Um, so this entire section is wide open. On the north side here where the big tree is, um, that is a corner that could be redesigned and gardened. And this entire intersection corner needs a bulb out to reduce the opening of the traffic. Along, along here we have an eight foot wide parking strip, which is great for people that park. The residents love the um, green grass strip on the Broadmoor fence side, and they, they like being able to see a golf course, but they're not so fond of the barbed wire on top of the fence. Uh, Broadmoor feels they need the barbed wire, so it's still there. Um, I don't know what design alternatives there are. As the street narrows, the parking strip narrows here. That here it's down to about four feet, and it narrows down to two feet at the far end. So what happens is cars either park on the sidewalk or they start to park on the street like this. As well as cars park on the opposite side of the street, reducing the usable width of the street, which is probably fine because it's traffic calming. There's a school's, um, school zone sign, but there's no qualitative difference between this end of the block and the block and a half behind where we're standing right now. Down here at the end of the street, you have a couple challenges. One is a very narrow parking strip. No usable parking on the other side. There is a drain here. And what happens is cars park all the way up to the intersection and on around, around the corner at the end of the intersection and students need to continue across the street to join up with a crosswalk over there. So the problem is with the cars parked at the corner, traffic coming around can't see the students before it's too late when they step off the curb there. In addition, uh, cars tend to cut this corner and run over the sidewalk. So. Uh, but we have an advantage of there is actually a city drain here, so it will be possible to put a rain garden or a bioswale on this corner to address the parking and crossing or sightline issues. This street end was clearly never designed, it was just kind of left. Um, you can see where the curb literally ends and is peeled up steel from the concrete and doesn't join cleanly with the existing sidewalk. During school hours, both sides of the street here fill up with cars opening doors, kids getting out, and cars trying to pass along the middle, which creates a bit of a problem. And cars also park all the way up to the corner on both sides of the street here, not respecting the no parking within 30 feet zone. One good feature across the street is the, um, we'd like to continue the greenway. There's somebody talking in their phone. Um, we'd like to continue the greenway down this road to 39th. And one advantage this route has is not only do you have parking on one side, but you have these, this natural traffic calming in the form of pavement heaves from these large trees on both sides. So it's effectively built in speed bumps. And then it connects with 39th Avenue, future greenway, which could go 
north to south. So that's it.